Hello. This video is one of a series of lectures for the distance education course entitled Woody Landscape Plants, a component of the Prairie Horticulture Certificate Program. This video is the first lecture that deals with morphological characteristics of woody plants useful in their identification, things like leaves, flowers, fruits, stems, and buds. It's also important to note first though that woody plants are present all year and so you can use above ground characteristics in both summer and winter to identify. However, mostly we look at things in the summertime when we're identifying woody plants. We can actually take some of the characteristics that are used and sort of rank them and from the most common to the least common. The most commonly used characteristic are probably leaves, although taxonomists will often use seed morphology in their uh, identification of individual species. But flowers and buds are also useful and twigs and bark are also useful to some extent. But one must realize that things like bark can be rather ambiguous so it's not one of the characteristics that I recommend as, as an initial or a primary characteristic. It can be sometimes what could be called a secondary characteristic after you have used some of these others. Well, let's look at some of the specific attributes that can be used for identifying plants. Things like color is important, uh, especially with things like flowers and fruit to some extent. Flowers though on the other hand, one has to recall that because of breeding, especially when it comes to cultivars, they can be modified quite a bit, but the native color of flowers of a, of a natural plant can be useful. Also the location of flowers and fruit in the plant can be important and we are dealing here with what we call terminal versus lateral, say flowers. Here's an example to show this. On the left hand side you can see that this cluster of flowers is at the tip of a branch. It's kind of hard to see but they're at the tip called terminal. If you look over to the right you'll see that the flowers are all along the branch of the spirea. So those are lateral. If you look at the fruit you can see it a little more clearly. Here's the fruit all the way along the branch and the lateral locations along the branch. That's what we call lateral. If you look at this, these clusters of high bush cranberry, you can see these are clusters and they're all located and hanging off the ends of the branches. So that's terminal and lateral. Shape is a very important characteristic when identifying plants. Shape of various parts of the plant, such as the leaves, the, the buds, and as I said, even for taxonomists, the seeds. Leaves are common and we will return to going into more detail on leaf shape uh, in the next video. The numbers of components uh, of certain kinds of, of uh, attributes are also important, such as the number of flower petals or the number of leaflets in a, le a compound leaf. Taking a look at flower petals, a couple of things that we should uh, make sure to clarify is that when you have the number of petals in a flower that are characteristics of, of that species, for example, we're looking at rose flowers, normally there's five petals of all, all plants in the rose family. So you have five petals here in this in this particular rose. These are called single flowers. Now if you get uh, modifications through breeding uh, where you get many more petals than, than the regular five, such as common in most of your ornamental roses, these are called double flowers and they have many petals. So that's something that you have to watch for. Another thing to consider are things like uh, the size of, of uh, plants or parts that can sometimes be useful. But also another thing that's useful is the texture of, of some of the plant components. And one easy one to visualize is the leaf edge or the edge of a leaf. Here you can see the difference between the edge of this, this elm leaf, which is uh, serrated or toothed, whereas this one on the, on the dogwood is pretty well smooth and sometimes known as entire. We will spend a little bit of time with this in the next uh, lecture on this series. So all these can be used. So what I'm going to do um, after this short video is I'm going to switch to uh, showing you some components of a, an interactive CD-ROM that I developed some time ago um, called Woody Plants in the Prairie Landscape. It's actually uh, recommended as a, as a resource for the course. And I'm just going to go through showing some of the attributes and some of the differences, things like leaf shape and leaf types and and some of those things in that particular CD, so I thought it would be best to use that as an illustration. So I'll show that in the next video. And I should po just point out that this, of course, was 
the state of the art at the time, but it will work with newer machines. Uh, there are some problems that there are 64-bit um, machines that have to be installed differently. Anyway, so that will be in the next video.